NBA star Tracy McGrady announced his retirement from baseball this week after a very short stint with the minor league team known as the Sugarland Skeeters. Is that like mosquito skeeters or like little John skeet skeet? Skeeters. McGrady's failed attempt at a two sport career got us thinking. Who else failed miserably at trying to be a two sport athlete? So stick around because on this episode of Ride the Pine, we're going to break down the top five worst two sport athletes of all time. The person kicking off our countdown might be a shock. Michael Jordan's failed baseball career might be the most infamous of the failed two sport athletes and some people would rank him as number one. But there are a lot of people who underestimate Jordan's performance on the baseball diamond. During his career with the minor league Birmingham White Sox, he had 30 stolen bases and 51 RBIs. That's an RBI every 8.5 at bats. That's weird because that's the same exact rate that Derek Jeter has hit RBIs over the course of his career. Yes, Michael Jordan was not a great baseball player, but he does get bonus points for recognizing that and going back to basketball. Oh, and by the way, winning three more NBA championships. Next on our list is a hockey player who pretended to be a two sport athlete. Eric Lindros ended his hockey career with more concussions than Stanley Cup victories. And although he actually never played for the Toronto Blue Jays, the fact that he pretended to do so is even more embarrassing. You see, when Eric Lindros was one of the top prospects in hockey in the early 90s, he signed an exclusive deal with a trading card company who thought it would be a good idea to pretend that he was going to sign with the Toronto Blue Jays. Nice face, bro. He looks like he just saw someone take a giant crap in the Stanley Cup, which is weird because he's never seen one in person. The next person on our list probably shouldn't even count. Vince Coleman was a pretty well-known baseball player in the 80s. In fact, he won the 1985 Rookie of the Year playing for the St. Louis Cardinals and he was a two-time All-Star. And during his spare time in college, he also happened to be the punter and kicker on his Florida A&M football team. Wow. I think the one thing worse than pretending to be a two-sport athlete is to claim to be a two sport athlete by being a punter slash kicker. Number two on our list is the man who started this conversation. Yes, Tracy McGrady was a great scorer in the NBA. He was a multiple time all-star, but he never led his team past the first round of the NBA playoffs. Hell, even when he jumped on the bandwagon of the 2013 Spurs, they ended up losing to the Heat in seven games. McGrady's baseball career lasted only a few months, and here are the highlights. Eight innings pitched, one strikeout, and a 6.75 ERA. I guess this is the part of the show when we remind people that part of being a great athlete is actually winning once in a while. And number one on our list of the top five worst two-sport athletes ever is someone you probably forgot about. Former University of Michigan quarterback Drew Henson had an unbelievable resume to start his career. He's the only person younger than Tom Brady to compete against Tom Brady and to beat Tom Brady for the same position on the same team. Henson was also drafted by the New York Yankees, but this two sports star turned out to be a no sports star with a baseball career that ended with more strikeouts than hits. And then when Henson returned to football in 2004 and was signed by the Dallas Cowboys, well, the only game he started in his career, he ended up being benched in by halftime in favor of a 40-year-old Vinny Testaverde. Hey, at least you know Tom Brady, right? 